Hello students, subscribers, viewers, and future engineers. Here, here are another problems in stat trigonometry. Uh, this is about solutions to triangles. This time, let's have solutions to oblique triangles using the law of sines. And before we proceed, those who want to anticipate the solutions, you may do so by pausing the video. Remember that the law of signs have ambiguous case, so we will expect that there may be two triangles, one triangle, or there's no solution or no triangle at all. So, problem three. There are so many problems parts here, sub-problem. Solve the triangles with given elements using only the law of signs. So we have four. So A and angle A given. So we have to uh, report our answer to two decimal places. So we use sine law. 6.4 as to sine 42 degrees equals B as to sine angle B. So remember that this is our guide triangle. A over sine angle A equals B over sine angle B equals C over sine angle C and it is equal to the diameter of the circumscribing circle. So, first, we have to apply sine law. So, 6.4 as to sine of 42 degrees equals B, 4.7 as to sine of angle B. So, since only one angle is given, then there will be, we can solve for B, and if it is acute, it should be acute, lesser than 42 degrees, because opposite to 42 degrees is 6.4. This is only 4.7. Remember the principle that, that the shortest side is opposite the smallest angle, and the longest side is opposite the biggest angle so we expect that b is lesser so b therefore sine b equals 4.7 sine 42 degrees over 6.4 to make it detailed so solving for b it is inverse sine of using your calculator inverse sine of this quantity here and b is equal to 29 degrees to two significant figures and this 29 degrees is less than 42 degrees as expected. And it is impossible that B is 180 degrees. It supplement 180 degrees minus 29. Or else, unless B is greater than 6.4, and we expect that B, angle B, is greater than 42 degrees. So that's why that's the value. We cannot adjust it anymore. Then having found B, we then solve for angle C by the fact that the sum of the interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. So 180 degrees minus angle A, 42 minus angle B, 29 degrees. So angle C is equal to 109 degrees. So it is C that is obtuse and therefore we expect side C to be the longest side. So by sine law again, 6.4 over sine 42 degrees equals side C unknown over sine of 109 degrees. So C is 6.4 sine of 109 degrees over sine 42 degrees. And using your calculator there, C is 9.0 to 2 significant figures. Let's proceed to 3B. So this time, side B and angle B given. Side C is greater than B, so we expect angle C to be greater than 30 degrees. So by law of sines, uh, B is 17 as to sine 30 degrees is equal to 34 as to sine C. So angle C or sine C is 34 sine 30 over 17. So sine angle C is 34 sine 30 degrees, which is 17 over 17. So in other words, this is 1. Inverse sine of 1 is 90 degrees. So the other possible value of C is 90 degrees. So therefore, 180 degrees minus 90 degrees is 90 degrees. Therefore, 
that's the final value of angle C. That means that this triangle is a right triangle. So we expect that that angle A is 60 degrees, 180 minus uh, 30 degrees minus 90 degrees, so 60 degrees. And remember the relationship between the acute angles of a right triangle, except for the third one, which is 90 degrees. So angle A is 180 degrees minus 30 degrees minus 90 degrees. So angle A is 60 degrees. Then we apply sine law, although this is a right triangle. So we have uh, A as to sine 17 as to sine 30 equals side A as to sine 60 degrees. So A is 17 sine 60 degrees over sine 30. Using your calculator there, A is, also, A is equal to 29 uh, units. So that's it. it. It is indeed expected that C is the longest, which is the hypotenuse, because the triangle is a right triangle. Let's proceed to see this time we round off answers to three significant figures. So this time side C and angle C given, so by sine law we can compute angle A. So since side A is greater than C, we expect that angle A is greater than uh, angle C. And if it is greater than but still less an acute angle, so there may be another possibility for angle A. So from this given data, 42.5 or 68 as to sine angle A equals 42.5 as to sine 35.2 degrees. So sine angle A is 68 sine 35 degrees over 42.5. So A therefore is inverse sine of quantity 68 times sine 35.2 degrees over 42.5. And a is 67.3 degrees, which is expected greater than 35.2 because this is longer than side C. So that's correct. But with the other possibility, because uh, the sine of an acute angle is equal to the sine of its supplement, so the other possibility is 180 degrees minus 67.3, so that's why we have 112.7 degrees. So that's also possible. So let's stick to this 67.3 first and solve for the rest of the elements B and angle B. So if this is the angle, then angle B is 180 degrees minus 67.3 degrees minus 35.2 degrees. So that means angle B is equal to 77.5 degrees. So having found angle B, we can now solve side B. So B as to sine 77.5 degrees equals 42.5 over sine of 35.2 degrees. So take note that I'll use the ratio of given, given sides here. I'm not using this because we just solved A to make sure that this solution is independent of the, solution, the preceding solution because there might be a possibility that the angle A is wrong. So if it is wrong, then there's no chance that this solution will also be correct. So it will also be wrong. So that's why to make sure that this is independent of the preceding solutions, then we just use this uh, equation, the given uh, data. So B is equal to 72.0. So this would be the solutions for part A. Triangle 1A is 67.3 degrees. B is 77.5 degrees. And side B is 72.0 units. Then for the other possibility, A is 112. I'll call that A prime, 112.7 degrees. Then let's solve for B prime. B prime is 180 degrees minus 112.7 degrees minus 35.2 degrees and B prime is possible 32.10 degrees. So let's solve for the remaining portion. 
So B prime as to sine of 32.1 degrees equals 42.5 as to sine 35.2 degrees. So solving for B prime is your calculator there 42.5 sine 32.1 over sine 35.2 degrees. So B prime is 39.2 units. Then for uh, the remaining unknown here, which is uh, A prime is already 112.7 degrees. So the second triangle, there are two possible triangles here. The second triangle have these elements under or solutions 112.7 degrees, B prime 32.1 degrees, and side B prime is 39.2 units. And finally, part B. A and angle A given, B is 28.65 side B, so we expect that angle B is greater than uh, 34.25 degrees. So by sine law, 12.65 as to sine 34.25 degrees is equal to 28.65 as to sine of angle B. So sine angle B is 28.65 sine 34.25 degrees over 12.65 and using your calculator there, sine of B is equal to 1.275 which is greater than 1. Remember that sine cosine functions cannot be more than 1. Its maximum value is 1. Minimum value is negative 1 because remember the, the definition of sine is opposite side over hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is always the longest side of a right triangle. The opposite sides and adjacent sides are less than the length of the hypotenuse. So both sine and cosine functions cannot exceed 1.0. So therefore, even if you use your calculator here, it will just display math error because sine and cosine functions cannot exceed 1. So since this is greater than 1, there's no solution to this triangle or there's no triangle of these given sides and one angle. So that's it for this video. I hope that you learned something from this uh, video and you enjoyed watching.